Hey guys, welcome to the Tales of Gear channel, and welcome to the very first episode of Game of Grub. As always, I am your host, The Devil Inside, and today we are making the Scorpion Hellfire Burger and Garlic Fries. Now you're going to need several things for this, and uh, well, here we go. I've got all the ingredients laid out right here. You're going to need bacon. I prefer applewood. Use whatever kind you want. Shredded cheddar cheese, American cheese, pepper jack cheese, buffalo sauce, Italian breadcrumbs, and of course the seasonings. You have paprika, ground mustard, black pepper, salt, and Worcestershire for the meat. And then for the fries, you're going to need garlic cloves. You can buy minced garlic too, depends on how comfortable you are with the knife. Onions, bought these pre-diced because I don't like cutting up onions. A little bit of Italian cheese blend and one jalapeno and a little bit of butter. And of course, one pound of ground beef. All right, so to start, you want to put your oven on about five or six. Go ahead and get your bacon out. Quick chop in half. Alright, so after you make it cut in half, don't be afraid to crowd the pan. You don't want to let that cook to your desired doneness. I like it a little bit crispy on a burger. So while that's going, let's get our fries in the oven. I use curly fries. You can use whichever you want. They go in at 425 for 20 minutes. All right. Well, that's going. Let's get the uh, spices going for the uh, beef. Uh, I'll put the recipe in the description. You're going to want one table, teaspoon. Paprika. This is the smoked. Not the hot, you put the hot in here, it's going to suck. One teaspoon ground mustard. You're going to want about two of black pepper. Find the salt. You want about a tablespoon. You don't want to overdo the salt, it will overpower everything. All right, so you're going to want to stir this together. You can use a spoon. We have an excess of chopsticks in this household, so I tend to use them to stir my spice rolls together. All right, when you're done, it should look roughly like that. Now, first thing we're going to do to this beef, before our spices go in, is put in two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. However you say it, I have a speech impediment. One. Two, don't be afraid to spill a little bit over. There's a lot of meat here compared to what's going in it. Most of the flavor is gonna come from what you cook it in. Take your spice rub. Into the beef. Now you can mix it with your hands. I'm going to use a spoon so I don't have to constantly wash. And anytime you handle raw meat, you don't want to touch other ingredients. There's a chance you can give someone food poisoning. I know I've done it. One last thing. Because this is going to be a stuffed burger with a lot of cheese, Gonna want 
two pretty good sized tablespoons of the breadcrumbs. And I was just gonna hold the burger together. Shouldn't change the flavor at all. Mix it around until everything's kind of combined nicely. Go ahead and set that to the side for now. All right. Next up is the uh, garlic and the onion. Now this is for the fries. And you can buy packages like this of the whole clove garlic. Works pretty good in marinades. Uh, or roast. I'm gonna take five good sized cloves and chop them up. Get out of my way. I always smash the garlic. Makes it a lot easier to chop. Also kind of lets some of the flavor get out of it. A little bit of onion. These aren't exact measurements. Sorry. <laughs> really is just how much you like onion and garlic, I guess. All right. Jalapeno serves two purposes in this burger. It goes in the burger and in the fries. Cut it open like so. Get all the seeds and veins out of it. Cut it into some nice strips. Line it up, fold it over, and then just give it a nice quick dice. Oh, that smells good. Very important, guys. Make sure you close your face. All right. Let me pull this off here. Put it on another burner real quick. Turn down the heat a little so it'll crisp up. We're gonna. Sweat down and caramelize the uh, garlic, jalapeno, and onion mixture. You're gonna want about half a stick of butter. Soften. Let that start to melt down. While that's going on, I'll go ahead and dice up the rest of this jalapeno for what's going in the burger. But this, same deal. Rough chop, nothing special. Keep your fingers back. Probably wouldn't taste them even if they got in it. Now then, let's make our first burger probably, shall we? I'm gonna wanna take oh, about a quarter of the mixture, maybe a little bit more. So it should look like before you flatten it out. Right. When you do this, Put it on the flat surface. Then, take a bottle, kind of, push out a little pocket there. A little jalapeno. A little bit of cheese. Take a little more meat.
Fold up into another nice little ball. Flatten it out. Right over those. Now you just kind of want to seal it up. Finished product right there. All right, let's set this off to the side. Go ahead and do the other one. Those are the butter. Set off to the side. Very important. When you do this, low heat. What that butter is going to do is it's going to soften and brown the vegetables. Bacon is ready. A little black on the edges ain't going to hurt nobody. It's going to be nice and crispy. Very important to save the fat. That's what I'm going to cook the burgers in. Do your second patty. Seal the burger up. Look, this one got a little messy on me. It's all right though. I can save it, I have the technology. Turn the burner up to about six. And these are gonna cook quick. I know they look fat, but you gotta remember there's stuff in the middle. My hands are quick rats. Best friend in the kitchen, especially when cooking a burger. Be gentle with the smash down though. You smash the juices out, you're gonna have a dry, nasty burger. Those cook for about mm, three minutes aside. So the idea for this recipe, number one, Scorpion is one of my favorite uh, Mortal Kombat characters, and of course he's the ninja of fire. And I like spicy stuff. Especially burgers, especially fries. Buffalo sauce always goes good on beef, chicken, pork, whatever. So what initially gave me this idea was uh, to spin on one of my old recipes, the buffalo burger. I just turned the heat up about four or five notches. Now, I know I used jalapeno for this recipe. If you want to separate the men from the boys, you can always use habanero, ghost pepper, or scorpion pepper. I don't recommend it. You won't be able to taste anything but fire. All right, let's get ready to flip. Burn that's it. All right, now once you have flipped the burger and the other side is cooking, you can take the buffalo sauce here. This has also been a pretty handy kitchen implement for this uh, exercise. You hit the top of those burgers. Buffalo sauce, put it out. And 
top each one. Slice of American or cheddar, whatever cheese you prefer. You just want a little bit of sharper salty cheese to kind of cut through the heat. And then, pepper jack, habanero. Not yet. <laughs> now I know you're thinking, hey, you said uh, you don't recommend using habanero. Well, no, not in the burger, and this is why. Go that over. Fries are done. While the cheese finishes melting on the burger, finish cooking through a little bit. Take a nice crispy fries. A little bit of that vegetable mixture. About half and half. All right. And to finish it off, I'm going to want to take the Italian six cheese blend. And coat to your desire. And just in case you're wondering why I'm doing two plates. Uh, I am not the only part of this channel. I have a director and a producer. And his name is John. And basically I'm fixing lunch for us so you guys get to watch. <laughs> go with that. If you like the combination of Parmesan and garlic, you know, wings, fries, whatever, if you don't like this, it's just a little bit spicier. Man. You can't do this right. Without toasting the bun. And there's two ways you can toast this. Dump a little bit of this fat out. Oh, a lot of it, really. Kindly ask the Limburger to scooch over. Depends on how much flavor you like. Come in there, let us up a little bit of that bacon grease, a little bit of that spice, and of course it'll crisp too on the heat. All right. You can add whatever vegetables you want to this. Also, this is gonna be spicy as hell. So, uh, I also highly recommend that you either drink milk, water, or beer with this. Probably milk, so you can line your stomach unless it's made of Teflon. All right. And there you have it, the Scorpion Hellfire Burger and Garlic Fries. Alright, here I am in the aftermath of that uh, delicious burger. Uh, I wouldn't line that because it's something else to drink. My mouth is on fire. But, uh, you guys, don't forget like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh, yeah, and one last time, I cannot emphasize this enough. Don't eat like this every day. These recipes that I'm going to show you are kind of meant for get togethers and special occasions. Have a good one.